Everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we have a new project rebuild and it will be the first car in the new unit. So from now, I'll be rebuilding these cars inside the unit as I'm now renting some space. So you probably can see from the thumbnail and the video title, it is a Volkswagen up. I know I've had one before. I try and get different cars all the time, but at the minute I'm really struggling to buy a nice car. So whenever there is a nice car there, going for silly money, pretty much more than retail price for non-category cars, so it's, it's not worth it. So, let me show you what I've bought. So here's the little Volkswagen up. This one is a 2019 and it's only got 17,000 miles. So it's a great year with good miles. We'll start with the good side, so the driver's side. No damage on the driver's side apart from the driver's mirror, which I didn't see on the Copart photos. <laughs> Whoever done this, look, gaffer tape. Holding this mirror together. Uh, I have got a new replacement. Well, when I say new, a second hand item. Uh, from Synetic, I paid £35 in colour, but cracking price, complete unit. Uh, there is two different style mirrors on the ups, one for the pre-face lift, so 2012 to late 15, they have an uh, indicator in the wing, which means no indicator in the mirror, and the facelifts don't have a hole in the wing, they have the indicator in the mirror. So I've got a replacement, I'm not going to fit today, but I just thought I'd let you guys know. Uh, the rest of the drive side is all good, apart from being filthy. Rear of the car, the bumper needs a full respray. As you can see, there's scuffs all along the bottom on both sides. And you probably can see here, I've spoken to the body shop. They say they, they can repair that, a little bit of heat. So the rest of the back of the car is all good. Obviously on this, it's a glass tailgate. So on the back, I just need to get the rear bumper painted. Uh, if you can see stuff in the background, we've only just come into this unit. The lights are now being fitted. So we've just got to put everything away in its location. Just thought I'd let you guys know. And all these like little swiggles you see on the car, I guess that's either from the body shop who checked the car or insurance assessor, just to show where all the damage or blemishes is on the car. So, They've just marked where well, there's more scuffs on the edge of the bumper. It has touched the rear quarter. Uh, it's not dented it, it's just uh, took some paint, so hopefully we'll see. It might wet sand and polish out. Worst case, I'll get this rear quarter painted. It's not a big item, look. Size of my hand, it's only a little car. Passenger rear door, they've marked where well, there's a little scuff. Uh, I can't fill that one with my nails, so that will definitely polish out. The front passenger door, I did clearly see this on Copart because you can click HD to make the photos a lot clearer and zoom in and zoom out. As you can see, it clearly states dent. When the car got dropped off from, from my recovery guy from Copart Chester, I had a quick look at the car for what, two minutes, then put it in the garage and went home. I just thought it was a dent on the swage line. I've now seen tonight recording this there is some further damage going along. So I'm just gonna replace this door. Hopefully I can get one in color. This one is a category S. As you can see, the main damage of the car is the passenger front. So this is the damage why the car would have been written off. This is the 11th Volkswagen up I've rebuilt. You've, you guys have only seen one on YouTube, which was the gold one. Uh, Probably the reason why I've done that many, they're great little cars. Uh, a lot of people do like Fiat 500s or Fiestas. There seem to be that many on the market. I've done one Fiesta before and yeah, that was enough for me. I like doing these little ups. Uh, so personally, I think this will probably be the last one I will video, not unless it's a GTI. I was trying to bid on a GTI the same day as this. So the plan was to win both ups. So this red up and the white up GTI, rebuild them together. So they were, they're on auction the same day at Copart. Not the same auction, but 
two different locations, but the same day. I, w I won this one first on reserve, and the white up GTI, it was a bid war, me and one other person. So when you're bidding on these, literally, you keep getting outbid, you bid, you keep getting outbid. You gotta keep, you know, you gotta think quick, do you want this car or not? So basically, I just quickly calculated in my head price of the car, what I was happy to pay, the fees, the delivery, uh, the up GTI, the dashboard went on that one. So it needs an airbag kit, which I normally get minimum 750 pound. So put it this way, the last price, uh, the last time I got outbidded, what that car went for with a, the car, the fees, the delivery, a dashboard kit, all that would have come up to the sort of price I would sell the car for without even repairing the outside. So I thought uh, I'll leave that. But yeah, to be honest, I'll probably, this probably will be the last up I will feature on the channel as I don't want the same content all the time. Uh, not unless I can get a GTI, but this time I would say it's an excuse as I can't find, buy anything nice at the minute, but I thought it'd be better to have something on the channel than nothing. I hope you guys don't mind. Let us know in the comments. So on to the damage. This wheel has been pushed back. One annoying thing, as you can see, this wing is fully destroyed. It did not touch the edge of this door, which is annoying because of this dent at the bottom of the door, but that's one of those things with salvage. So I need, so obviously you've seen on the Audi A3 video, I've got all the replacement panels, got a brand new genuine wing, bonnet, bumper, headlight, brackets, etc. So this wing is fully had it. One thing you do have to be careful on these up, especially a facelift like this, the ECU is behind this wing, but there is no warning lights or anything on the dash. It does run and drive. So hopefully the ECU is not being hit or any of the wires being chafed, etc. I know a lot of people would repair this bonnet as it's still, but I just thought oh, it's easy. A brand new bonnet weren't very expensive. By the time I paid the body shop to repair it, etc., probably would have come up similar price to buying the bonnet, to be honest. Bumper is had it. Luckily, the, gr the top grille is perfect with the Volkswagen logo. There's no damage to that. And I think, I don't want to jinx myself yet, but I think I've got lucky with the lower grill. So basically it has a plastic piece that goes in the middle of this where it clips into here. That's body color where the number plate goes. But this grill, I can't see any damage, especially where these clip on. I can't see any damage on this. So that might save myself, what, 60 pound plus that. So hopefully that one's all right as well. I'll just pop the bonnet. So yet again, the insurance or the uh, engineer has marked there's damage here, which you can see. So this window scuttle panel, these are not one piece, they are in two pieces. So I can just get a left hand side one. Uh, rest underneath, obviously the headlights damaged, that is in the boot. The top piece that bolts up to the front panel that's in the boot as well, but that was damaged. I've already got a brand new one of them. So as you can see, that's the wing bracket. That's fully bent. I've got a brand new genuine replacement already. Front panel has not been touched. I guess whoever assessed this car has took the headlight out and unbolted that, that top brace. Uh, bumper's loosely on, on top. So the front panel, I cannot see from now, just having a quick look, I cannot see any damage but we'll have a proper look when I strip it down. It's still holding its antifreeze. Crash bar has not been touched. Chassis leg from here, what we can see is straight. But yeah, this will be a quick rebuild series, probably two, maximum three episodes. So in today's video, I will be stripping it all down. Normally that's on the second video, but because I want it to be a quick series as we've had one of these cars before. So I'll just quickly show you the interior on this. I will let you know it is dirty on this one. It's not minging, but for a 17,000 mile car, you probably can see the stains on the seats. Um, so I will need to give this a good hoover and wet vax. If, let us know in the comments if you'd wanna see me wet vax in the seats, etc. But yeah, I'll just start it up. You do have to press the clutch on this one. As you see, there's no warning lights. 
the only light that's on is the fuel light. So on the photos, this car did have a full tank. As you see, Copart's took the fuel. Uh, it's weird. It's like every other car I win from Copart, the fuel gets taken. But I, you can't moan because in the terms and conditions on Copart website, it does state the car may not come with the amount of fuel it shows on photos. So I can't moan. Same as the back seats, they've got some stains, but this will clean up like a 17,000 mile car. I'll just show you the boot. So that's the damaged headlight, the original one, and that top brace. Washer bottle, I removed that when it was on the recovery truck because it was on the floor. I didn't want it getting damaged. But yeah, that's the car. I think it's time now to actually get work on it and let's get stripping the damaged parts. So now you've seen the car, I'm now going to put on actual stands so then we can get the damaged body panels off the car. I just wanted to let you know I did forget to charge my microphone so I've just come here after work it's now six in the morning so unfortunately the remaining of this video will be filmed just off my phone microphone do apologize so you would have seen me just now jack the car up put an axe stand and take the wheel off towards the end of the time lapse you might have seen me struggle to get the wheel off uh, where the suspension's pushed back that gap the tire was literally behind the wing so just taking the wheel off i have seen some additional damage the end of the sill has curled around as you can see it's not split the metal so if you haven't seen the gold volkswagen volkswagen up i rebuilt that had the same thing from where the wheel got pushed back it just curled the end of the sill luckily there isn't a in or an outer skin on the towards the end of the sill so that can be straightened repaired and painted just like the gold one. So apart from that, I have seen some damage to the suspension. So the tie rod, which goes into the tie rod end, that's bent like a banana. The wishbone is twisted. So that's all bent up. So I will be replacing the whole suspension on this. Uh, I won't be taking it off in today's video as the new suspension is at home. So one more bit of damage so far. The alloy wheel, when I turned it around, can you see it split the rim? So I guess all that force when this, this wheel got pushed back, it then split the alloy wheel. So we're gonna need a replacement wheel now. So I'm gonna get the art shine off quickly. That is just T20 torque screws going all the way around to this art shiner. So I'm starting to get a little pile of the parts we need. So the arch iron, that's how it, it's all um, twisted up. Good news, behind the arch iron, none of this area has been touched. Uh, this foam, which, two seconds. As you can see, just the end of the sill, so luckily, the wheel has not touched any of this area here, which is brilliant news. Same as the chassis leg, all that area is all spot on. So I'm gonna get started to remove the wing. So you've got a 10 millimeter bolt at the bottom here. There's one in the middle. There's only one on these. You don't have to do it from the inside. You have to remove this plastic cover as there is another 10 millimeter bolt hiding behind this. This just pops off. And then, if I remember rightly, just two at the top, 10 millimeters. Obviously you've got the wing bracket that you need to undo. This is where the front bumper normally clips in. And you've got two plastic 10 millimeter nuts. And there is one more bolt that you need to be very careful on these ups. This bit's broke, that's that passenger side of the scuttle panel. There's one in this corner here. You just have to be very careful that you don't damage the window screen. But yeah, I'm gonna get that removed now.
So I was very surprised when removing the wing on this up as I've done three other facelift Volkswagen ups. The last one, which was the, I think it was a 19 or 69 plate, the gold one that I featured on the channel. As I probably said at the beginning of the video, on the facelift ups, you have to be careful with passenger side damage on the front as the ECU is placed on the apron just here. But as you see, there is no ECU. We, we know the car starts and runs, so it does have one. It's just, it must be like the older ups in the engine bay, which it's not a bad thing because it's one less thing to get hit on the accident. So, but yeah, I was quite surprised as the other three had an ECU behind here. So pretty much I lied that all the facelift ones are behind the wing. So enough of the waffle. On the top apron, there is no damage behind here apart from the end. Yeah, so, so when these get involved in a front corner accident, so this top brace here, bolt up to here with the headlight. So obviously if it gets hit there, that metal brace is then going to twist, which then twists this down. But yeah, pretty much all the corner damage ups I've had has had the same damage. So that will straighten up, no problem. Uh, it has just chipped off a little bit of the paint just here, which obviously this is under sill with the paint on top. But yeah, that's no problem. One little other thing. So the, where the wing bracket bolts up to this bracket just here, one of the spot welds has broken. As you can see, this is held on by two spot welds. So I'll buy a replacement bracket, get the body shop to weld that on for me, as I don't know how to weld, but that is one thing I would love to so learn. we're gonna get the front bumper off. I'm not gonna take the driver's wheel off, as I'm gonna just, Turn the ignition on and steer the wheel towards the left, just so I can take a couple of these torque screws out of the arch liner, so I can gain access to this part here, which is the bumper bracket. So it's just got those two plastic 10 millimeter nuts. I'll slacken these off, and then this part of the bumper will pull off. Uh, I think that's the only thing I need to take off, as whoever inspected the car or a body shop, for example, has already moved the torque screw. So it has two either side of the Volkswagen emblem, and then one behind. So I'm just gonna get that bumper off now. The front bumper's now off. You'll see just here, you haven't got to take the plastic nuts all the way off, just slack them off. And there was one torque screw I forgot to mention, which does go through the bumper. Uh, that's a T20 Torx. Front crash bar, as you can see, it has not been hit. The foam's not being touched at all. And the lower part of the front crash bar is also good, which is brilliant news. One less thing to get. I'll just show you the front the bumper. Good part of the damaged front bumper, as this one, there is a corner missing, is the top and lower grille, as I did state at the beginning of the video. Uh, but I'll remove them on the next episode when I build up the freshly painted brand new front bumper. Uh, the last job to the, in today's video, what I'm gonna quickly do now is, is just to remove the damaged passenger side window skull. So I'm just gonna put the phone on the tripod. But to remove the skull, it's nice and simple. As I'm only removing the passenger side, I don't need to unbolt the window wiper arms. So I'll just start by lifting the passenger window wiper up. Then the rubber seal just comes off. Don't need to go all the way. And I will start from this corner going backwards. Now you just got to be careful as there is a, a small channel at the bottom of the window screen. And you know, you need to be careful in case you do crack the window screen. Hopefully I don't jinx myself. and easy uh, when I do fit the new one I'll just clean up in this area there's just some leaves and little debris so I have seen one more thing that's broke only a little thing this uh, headlight plug as you can see this how this plastic is here it should be like this on this side with this terminal in there uh, you can buy these replacement from TPS so I'll order that tomorrow and then just get these terminals out of this plug 
and swap them over into the new plug. Uh, this is the headlight motor to adjust the up and down of the headlight bulb. This does come with the brand new headlight, so this just needs unplugging and putting in the bin. So the remaining parts of the front that need stripping down will be the damaged bonnet with the hinges and the complete passenger front suspension. Uh, we'll do that in the next video. I just wanted to get the car on the channel and just start dismantling it. As the next video as well, we need to take this door off the rear bumper and swap over the driver's wing mirror. Let us know in the comments what you think to today's video and also what you think to the car. Is it worth rebuilding? Uh, also, if you did like today's video, smash that like button as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you get a notification when I upload a new video. Also, one last thing, if you're not uh, following me on Instagram, it's Nathan underscore Hiley. And if you need to get hold of me, uh, my email address is Nathan underscore Hiley at Outlook.com. All the links is in the description of today's video. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.